Hey everyone, it is week two of the Global Music Match and today I am talking with Johanna Juhola from Finland. She is the creator of an entire genre of music called fantasy tango and I just can't wait to share with you some, uh, some of the things we chat about today. She's uh, quite an incredible composer, musician and person. So here we go. Good. Have you been busy with talking with lots of people and all the <laughs> stuff? <laughs> I have done all the other interviews, so... Okay, this is the last one. <laughs> Where are you in Finland right now? I'm in Helsinki. Okay. In Japan, South Finland. What is it like there weather-wise right now? Is it still warm and... Ah, uh, it, it's surprisingly sunny now. It, it's almost like summer came back, but um, yeah. Yesterday it was raining heavily, so <laughs> typical, typical autumn maybe. Yeah, mm. it's kind of similar here. Today is beautiful, and uh, but we have well, we have a lot of uh, hurricanes this time of year, so we're waiting on the next one. <laughs> oh, um, <that's> scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we don't get them too bad here, but uh, we're far enough north. Okay. Um, I really have been enjoying watching all of your videos. It's so magical and colorful. Um, it must be f uh, fun playing with all these different kinds of people. And um, how is, yeah, are you, are you able to play with anyone right now? Um, actually, yes. Uh, here in Finland, um, it's possible to organize like small concerts. Mm -hmm. If people are like, I don't know if they have the distance, like two meters or something. So there has been concerts in concert halls so that they have fill it or outdoors concerts. So last month I did four gigs. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this month only one maybe. So, so it, it's still like a lot of concerts have been canceled, but some are happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's similar here, actually. Um, I just did a show on uh, Friday night, which was really fun, but it's uh, not like it has been in the past. <laughs> it's very quiet. It's funny how, like, um, like, when we had the first band rehearsal, we had a live stream gig with my band, Johanna Juhola Reactory, and when we had the first band rehearsal, after everyone had had, like had a break from playing music, everyone was so happy that, oh my God, it's so, <laughs> like, we didn't even care if the gig will happen. <laughs> like, if I get sick, then it w wouldn't have happened. We were just, like, so happy to have the rehearsal and meet people. <laughs> Watching your conversations with everyday videos and um, I just it's really interesting how you have like um, kind of your band members are like streetcars and dancers mm -hmm. and appliances <laughs> how did you start that project um, I have used some like environmental sounds as part of my music also before as part of um, Johanna Juhala at Imaginary Friends concert. So in that concert, I play accordion live, but 
then all the other sound elements are recorded and then the sound sources are shown on two video screens yeah. and there are some like um, accompaniments arranged of raindrops or traffic lights or animated characters or uh, different things so I kind of um, continued from there and I wanted to use some sound sources that are not possible to take to a concert so mm -hmm. I thought that okay I make videos and then I can like uh, have these street cars or trams uh, as part of of the music and uh, the ideas of these videos came like the trams came from that um, I live in Kallio quite uh, quite close to the Helsinki center and the trams um, like turn just outside of my window and and they make this noise when <laughs> when they turn and um, sometimes when I'm I'm playing accordion the pitch of the sound is just right to the <laughs> I'm playing and that that gave me the idea to oh, drums and and also um, the subway that I have always felt that it's interesting those glissandos when when it come to the station and when it like leaves again then the glissandos goes go up yeah. and also the uh, home appliances I got a new um, laundry machine and when the laundry was ready it played a little melody for me <laughs> oh this is so cute <laughs> that it was like a person mm -hmm. i i felt so uh, then i started to see all the other um, home appliances also as personalities who make sounds and who are like part of my orchestra here mm. at home so the uh, the ideas came kind of accidentally <laughs> yeah it's quite beautiful and i i love the um yeah just the sense that the world around us is alive and you know it's all, we're all part of this kind of big symphony um mm. and i read in one of the videos um is it like a uh, part of your doctoral program that Yes, uh, this series of three video videos, um, it's part of my, my studies. So I'm studying in uh, Art University, Sibelius Academy in Helsinki. Okay. And I'm, I'm doing like artistic research, which means that I'm making research by doing art. So I have some research questions, then I make art uh to find answers wow. to those questions and how long will that program go are you close to the end no i'm <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, th I think it will take forever because i have also <laughs> other work to do so right. it, it's actually sometimes um hard to find time mm -hmm. for the studies yeah so. I think that's normal, especially with that level of school. <laughs> mm. oh, um, yeah, you've, you've performed all over the world and um, your music is influenced by um, Argentinian tango. And um, I love that you just created your own genre so that you can basically do whatever you want. <laughs> um, yeah, you got the idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantasy tango is such a great, um, and it, su it suits so much what you do. Um, have you have you gone to Argentina? Have you played there? Um, I have been there only once, and <laughs> I spent only like few days there. Was it like three days? Uh, I had a gig with my duo partner Milla Viljama, who plays the piano, but we had time to see two different tango shows there <laughs> awesome. and, and then we did our own performance so we used the time very well <laughs> <laughs> that's good um, but um, tango culture has been a like really big thing here in Finland so uh, tango came here from Argentina maybe through Euro Europe um, 
like in the beginning of when was it? Nine, I, I think 1913. Uh, the history books say, say that that the first tango came yeah. to Finland, but it uh, became popular in 50s and 60s, and people danced it yeah. uh, a lot. And um, and there was few composers who composed like a lot of tangos. So um, first I. I, I was listening to Finnish tangos, and when I was a kid, I thought that ah, oh, this is so boring music. It's music for um, like old people. <laughs> <laughs> but then la later, I started to like it, and and it happened because I heard and started to play music of Argentinian tango composer, tango nuevo composer, Astor Piazzolla, and he had uh, combined different music styles to tango, like jazz and chamber music. And then I, I found that very interesting combination. And I started to hear Finnish tango differently. Mm. And I realized that I can actually arrange these Finnish tangos so that that, um, that I like them more. And then I also started to compose my own tangos. Wow. And I have to say that nowadays I have, I have come really far from tango and some people think that it's not tango at all but there is always like um some elements from tango i feel it i feel the tango <laughs> yeah i and when i compose i don't think anymore that now i'm i'm going to make a tango i'm just composing something and then somehow the tango <laughs> <laughs> comes you've absorbed all the tango it just is natural now <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I just, uh, I really want to come to Finland and um, see you perform live, or you can come to Canada. That would be great. <laughs> um, I guess, have you been to Canada to play? Uh, yeah, once. Yeah. I was there with a um, uh, classical violin player, Pekka Kuusesta. We had a duo and we performed okay. there like just a few gigs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I missed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you called a musical superhero, and I think that is very fitting because the energy that you give off feels like you're sending your superpower is like love, and it just emanates from you. So yeah, I don't know. Is there anything else you'd like to tell my people? Well, <laughs> now, on the spot? When, uh, <laughs> now when there's uh, like no no gigs, and uh, anyway, I have been to Canada only once, so. Mm. If you want to, you can uh, follow me on on the social media. There's yeah. quite many, like also one whole concert on YouTube that you can. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll post links to all of that in your Instagram and Facebook and um, make sure that everybody follows you. That's like the, the gift that keeps everybody. on giving now is people can follow us. <laughs> I don't want to keep you. I feel like it's di like dinner time <laughs> for you. I don't have any of those. Like I'm a, my, <laughs> my schedule is so like. <laughs> so, okay. Enjoy your evening. You too. No, not evening. Day. <laughs> yeah, I got. I have the full day ahead. So yeah, yes. I'll see you soon. Okay. See Take you. care. Bye. Bye. Thank you.